The Hollywood Reporter calls him the one to watch on the comedy scene. Today's CI stage sponsor, Yellow and Company Events, presents Ty Barnett, actor, comedian, writer, who is joining us over Zoom. Ty, glad to have you here with us today. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Thanks for having me. Appreciate yes. it. Yes. Well, I know you are a Chicago native, so we are very much excited to welcome you back, at least to the state of Illinois, maybe down a little bit south. Um, but tell us what people can look forward to at these upcoming shows happening April 1st at Yellow and Company events. I am actually, yes, I tell people, like, I've never been to that part of Illinois before, so I'm actually looking forward to it, as long as it doesn't snow. <laughs> As long as it don't snow, I'm good. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I miss my hometown, so I'm looking forward to flying in a day or so early to eat. That drive, though, I'm like, just please keep the snow away. I'm, I'm not that person anymore. I've been living on the West Coast for too long. Yes. So I'm, I'm too used to that. But uh, they, I'm excited, uh, and I'm glad that I get a chance to make these shows up. I was actually scheduled to do this show uh, about a month or so before, and I ended up booking two television shows, so I had to... Uh, reschedule these. So wow. one was three little things, and another one was is uh, Gen V, which is a spinoff of the the Hulu series, um, The Boys. Okay. So uh, when those projects came up, I felt really bad. I had to let Mike know. I was like, man, I I got to fly. So I had to fly to uh, Toronto for one show, and then fly to Vancouver to film another show. Oh my gosh! So, uh, and but Mike was so understanding of the process and he was like no no do what you got to do and so i wanted to make these up and so that's what these shows are so i'm really looking forward to it april 1st two shows 7 and 9 30 and um here's what i love about being a comedian older comedian uh i love that uh people come to the shows and they don't want to be there super late so <laughs> yes absolutely absolutely I, I, we we do grown folks partying so that's what we, we, I want them to come out, have fun. Uh, but I want us all to be in bed by a decent time. Hey, that night. I am <laughs> totally on board with that, 100%. I'm sure many people would be as well. Where do you get your inspiration for your shows? Do you come like ready to go and, or do you just kind of go on the fly and you're just, you have that talent in your back pocket and you're ready to go? Uh, you know, comedy is, I've been, you know, I started as a stand-up, so to me, it's like breathing, to be honest. And I know it sounds weird, it sounds cliche when you say that, but comedy is the only place where I feel more com comfortable on stage than I do off. Mm. And, uh, like, it even took me a while to get used to it with acting, where I was like, okay, the camera's on and, you know, whatever, but stand-up to me is is what brought me to all of this so i still have a special place for it and when i get a chance to perform in front of people it is like breathing like i mean yeah be, i gotta be honest with you i at one point i never thought that i would make a living with the ideas that are up here mm -hmm. <laughs> telling people these these jokes but uh i've been blessed in a lot of ways ever you know it started with um what was it uh a star search not the Ed McMahon star search, but the Arsenio Hall reboot. It started with that, um, moved on to a last, the uh, last comic stand and a few tonight shows. Uh, then America's got talent. And, you know, so, but the thing that has been constant is that when it's time to perform and tell jokes, I'm like, yo, let's do it. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be really quick with this to give you an idea of what I mean. Uh, Conan, Conan O'Brien, mm -hmm. when he had his show on, I had been trying to get on the show for a long time. Wasn't able to get on the show. My manager calls me Sunday, Sunday, uh, at four in the afternoon and says, tomorrow, Conan. And that's all she says. And I'm like, what? <laughs> She's like, tomorrow, Conan. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, tomorrow you're doing Conan. Oh Are you gosh. ready? I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. Let's let's go. So I, <laughs> my yeah. wife was with me. And I'm like, so I, I'm like, we immediately get off the phone call go home and I'm like, I'm looking through the joke book like, I'll be ready. I will figure it out. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, hey, that is just clear evidence of some major talent that you got that break and then here you are. So we are so excited to welcome you to Central Illinois. I know you will be a hit there at Yellow and Company on April 1st. Lots to look forward to. Great speaking with you today, Ty. And best Thank of luck you. to you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. We'll connect you with all the details on how you can be sure to book your spot for this fun event over on our website, CILiving.tv. And we do appreciate Yellow & Company Events for sponsoring this segment.